What's up, YouTube? This is going to be your guide on how to use Brute Bonnet in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'll be providing some competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like me to cover, let me know about it in the comment section and let me know if you've got any other movesets that maybe I didn't cover here or something that is working well for you. Without further ado, let's have a look at Brute Bonnet. Now, Brute Bonnet is a pretty interesting Pokemon, so obviously it's very comparable to Among Us, but it's got something that Among Us doesn't have. It's got a very, very big attack stat. It's got, it's got a lot of presence about it, and it's still got pretty good bulk too, to say the least. Now, looking at this Pokemon, I've got some uh, sets here I want to suggest. The first one I want to suggest is actually a loaded dice set. I used this almost as the game came out, and it actually worked pretty well. So we've got in this uh, set here, we've got max attack and max speed adamant nature. Now, this could be run a, a multiple few ways here. So the problem I see of Brute Bonnet, if you're going to run a physical sweeping set, is its speed. It's really, really bad, you know. And if you go, if you go jolly nature, that's just not a good use of... Um, it's not a good, good use of uh, EVs, in my opinion, there. So it's better to go adamant. Now, we've got Bullet Seed here. Bullet Seed with the loaded dice is going to guarantee it hits four times, which is 100 base power. Now, the next grass move that it gets, or the most powerful grass move it gets, is Seed Bomb at 80. So, you're always going to be doing more power with Bullet Seed if you've got the uh, loaded dice actually attached there. Now, that's not to say, too, you, you could roll all five times, so that would be 125 base power, which is really, really strong. You know, you're able to break subshoots, you're able to ground sturdy, you know, uh, break disguise. There's a lot of benefits to having that over C-Bomb. So don't run C-Bomb if you're running loaded dice there. Um, it, this is much better. Now, it's got uh, Sucker Punch, too, which is great for a slow Pokemon. It's going to be hitting very, very hard, too. So you could either go... I'll explain why I've done Terra Fire in a second, yeah, too. I've got Terra Blast Fire on here. It is four times weak to bug, so bear that one in mind. It could be a nice surprise having uh, Terra Fire. Your bug comes in. You know, scissor comes in. Oh, I'm going to, you know, uh, you know X-Scissor it up, boys and girls. And then you can go for a Terra Blast Fire, you know, and absolutely roast the scissor. Or you just know they're going to come in there and go for, like, U-Turn or something like that. Boom, go for the Terra Fire and one-shot them. That's a nice surprise sort of build there. Uh, I've also got Zen Headbutt on here for some fighting types too, because uh, that is super effective. Now, I want to say this too. You could go for a Terra, Terra Dark on... Let me see here. Terra, Terra Dark on Sucker Punch. That, that's a good idea too. Um, and also, another thing you could do on this... I feel like this is a little bit of a lost potential in putting in speed, but... You could do this too. Now, this might be a little bit more gimmick, but I did try it out and it had some reasonable success. So it does get Trail Blaze. So also I mean, any sticky web support and things like that, um, you know, Spide Ops or you know, those sort of Pokemon would be very good for this. Trail Blaze boosts its speed by one. So you, know, you could use Trail Blaze to boost your speed and then you could start doing these moves too. It's a little bit more of a gimmick because obviously you're putting two grass moves onto there. Um, so it, it, it's up to you, but I, I feel like it's got good merit, you know. Um, you've got a plus one in speed. That'll actually allow you to start outspeeding stuff there um, that you wouldn't have before. Is it going to be amazingly speedy? No, you'll need two trail blazes to outspeed pretty much everything that isn't a choice scarf or you know, crazy high base speed mod. And then you could start firing off bullet seeds, and, you know, four to five bullet seeds every time. And you could suck a bunch well. Or you could just use suck a bunch there on any speedier Pokemon, but I feel like at 55 base speed, it's going to get outspeed a lot of the time there. So just bear that one in mind there that maybe a speedy set isn't all that great. I've got some other options here I'm going to show you too, but I think the speedy set's got uh, some good some good things about it, but it's also, it's also, I don't know, I feel like it's a little bit of a waste in speed to like, you could easily invest it in other things, but I've tried out the speedy one with Trailblaze. It worked great, you know. Uh, but then when you take Trailblaze away and you use some other moves, maybe it's not so good. So this also could work well in Trick Room too. So you're probably thinking Trick Room. So that would work well. So you could... I've got a Trick Room build uh, coming up, so I'll show you that. But just some things to think about there. It could still uh, definitely work. Um, let me just show you the uh, physical moves here. Now, it does get uh, Close Combat, which is not a bad coverage move there. It's got 120 base power. You know, nothing wrong with that at all. Uh, just looking at steel types would be the best for that. And any, you know, any normal type Pokemon too, that could be 
that could be quite handy. And yeah, that could, that's definitely another move option you could you know, probably go about using. All right, let's check out the next one here. So this one's more of a um, this one's more of a uh, like a, a boosting set here. So this does get growth, which now growth is a very very good move used especially in the sun, which of course is going to stack nicely with its uh, ability here. So I've given this one. Growth, Trailblaze, Seed Bomb, and Sucker Punch. So I sort of doubled up on the Grass move again. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Um, but I did it so I could go first there or most of the time. So obviously you have a Sunny Day Pokemon, say Torkoal. That'd be a nice, like I suggest Torkoal. And then you could swap this in there. You could get your little ability to activate there. If you've got a Heat Rock on Torkoal, it's going to be eight turns, which is going to be nice. You could simply go for one Trailblaze, right? One Trailblaze, or you could just go for a Growth. Under the Sunlight, it's going to boost it by two. So it's going to be like using a sword dance, and on top of this, uh, 127 base and attack. That's that's a that's going to be doing a lot of damage there. Now I, I know that I said don't run C bomber there, but if you don't have something like loaded dice, or you you know you could put loaded dice in the set and put C and put bullets in on there. So. Yeah, there's that option too. I've gone with Seed Bomb there, but you, know, you can do whatever you like there. Um, you can take your pick uh, from that. I've also given it Salic Berry too. It's a little bit more gimmicky, I know, but it sort of helps out with uh, its speed. Say if you don't get a chance to Trailblaze, you want to grow really quickly. Um, it, it's pretty bulky, so it's going to be able to take a couple of hits there. So it's probably a you know, reasonable chance there of getting your Salic Berry up for sure. Um, I've given it Sucker Punches, of course, as well, and Seed Bomb. But like I said, you could... Look, you could easily do this at the same time with loaded dice and uh, and bullets there. I've just, uh, yeah, that, that that's quite good, you know. And, and then you can get rid of C bomb, and you could give it like, let's say, another coverage move here. Look, you could give it your close combat, you know. That could, uh, you know, that definitely could work for sure. Now, as for Terra, I've given these all Grass Terra. Because Bullet Seed or Seed Bomb is going to be so strong. You could give it Dark as well. So, you know, probably the probably the, the, the two most popular Terrors you'll see are its stabs already, which is Grass and Dark. So, there you go. Um, I ran Dark on this one too. But, yeah, they're, they're the most popular ones you could do. Unless you want to surprise them like I explained on my Terra, Terra Blast set that I did earlier on. You could go Terra Fire, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's all about what you've got on your team. And uh, sort of if you're worried about certain counters, you can get around them there, which would be very nicely uh, done. So next one here we got is uh, a bulky Trick Room set. So this really had to happen. Um, okay, that was my other one if I didn't show. Yeah, so this is my bulky uh, Brute Bonnet set here. So I've actually, I actually tried this and it worked very, very well. So it's got the bulk about. It's got 111 in health, which is excellent. And you've also got a big attack. Set. So I've given it max health and max attack Brave Nature. So with Brave Nature... Um, at level 100, you've got 103 speed, which is a good speed bracket for Trick Room. Now, I've given this Assault Vest too, which is going to make it even more tanky, which is going to be very, very good, because with uh, uh, with this, you could definitely uh, tank some hits. Now, if you weren't running this in Trick Room, let's say, for example, I'm not running this in Trick Room. Actually, no, I'll do the Trick Room set first. So, Payback is for uh, another slow, sort of slow set. So, we've got Sucker Punch, Terror Blast, Steel... And I've got um, Seed Bomb as well. Once again, the Seed Bomb Bullet Seed, it's all sort of up to you what you want to run. Let me just adjust this here. Yeah, so this could have... Um, this could probably have Crunch, you know, if you if you really knew you were going first. I, I'd have... Man, I, I'd, probably could, I'd probably put Crunch on there instead. Because you know you're going to go first, right? And that way the opponent can't mess with you either, like using status moves. So you've got Crunch there, which is going to have more base power, a little bit more base power than Sucker Punch. Look, you could run Sucker Punch in here as well if you're worried that you still might get outspared by another Trick Room team. That could work too. Um, and it's also weak to, you know, it's like weak to Bug and Fairy and stuff like that. So you could just give it a coverage move uh, if you wanted to there. I've given it Terra Steel, so that kind of gets rid of the... Fairy weakness, the bug weakness is actually quite a good terror on, like low key, uh, low key good terror. So you give it like close combat or uh, you know Zen headbutt. I actually, I'd give it Zen headbutt because that way you cover all of everything, you know. So you, that way you've got around fairy uh, with the terror still, and you've got a, a, around um, the bug as well. And then fighting comes in. Oh, I've got Zen headbutt too, so that's going to be really good. Plus you got that, you know, you got that flinch chance too, twenty percent chance. So that's actually pretty good. Now, let's say, for example, right, I wasn't running a Trick Room set, but I still want to run a Bulky and Slow. This is where uh, pay the Payback... This is where my Payback Sucker Punch set comes in here. So, say you're going to go second, right? Now, for argument's sake, you could still have Trick Room. 
for this, right? You could still have that, but just don't run it under Trick Room. You just don't run out of trick room, right? So you want to be going second with play with payback. So payback double base power would be a hundred base power, which is the strongest dark move that it actually gets played correctly. And then you could follow it up with a sucker punch. So you know that'd be like really um, sort of like a nice little surprise KO there for the opponent. Obviously, after they've seen sucker punch, they know what you're doing. So, um, but that would net you a very big amount of damage with those. It's almost those two moves together. So you use that, then you sucker punch afterwards, right? And it also, uh, you know, it puts the opponent off because they think they you, know, you don't have a priority Sucker Punch there and you know you use it and it's too late and you take out the Pokemon. So good surprise there and definitely um, definitely worth a try. Uh, Terra uh, Steel type here. Um, so Terra Blast, that's a change of type. You could get rid of that if you really wanted to. Um, and also got uh, we'll C-Bomb. Yeah, you could have C-Bomb or Bullet Seed. Same thing. So I can see this working the same way. Also with the Trick Room set, just you could also run, if you're really worried about getting uh, outsped, you could run room service on there, you know. That's for the trick room set. All right, but uh, yeah, that's a couple of these ones covered here. So it's got a lot of move options here. Now, I have to say, I, I, I want to mention a double set here. So this, um, I, I can actually, it's funny, because I can actually see this working the same way as Amoongus in doubles. Uh, this is a little bit of a different uh, EV spread here. I've sort of spread it out, so it's got, uh, it's defensive, and it's uh, also special defensive at the same time, and very, very bulky all over. So, you know, it's trying to trying to get this one to be able to take certain sort of hits and damage there. Um, so I've got on this one, it's got Spore. It's a very good Spore user. We've got Rage Powder as well, which is great in doubles. Um, and we've also got Protect which is good and I've given it bullet seed so it's sort of it's kind of like an among it's almost like an amongus set the thing about amongus is it's got regenerator so that's where it's different and with boost energy you've still got presence about you you've got boost energy bullet seed you know so you've got some nice presence after maybe you put them to sleep and, and those sort of things too so you could give it giga drain if you wanted to but it's special that is kind of lacking and I feel like you should still make use of its nice attack stat there even if you're not putting any EVs into it so that's definitely an option as a rage powder Pokemon in uh, doubles you know, VGC and those sort of uh, things you want to be using there okay let's check out the next one here we got a troll special I know you've been waiting for this one so this is a Tangaberry set. Uh, Tangaberry uh, powers down four times super effective bug moves because it does have a big, you know, bug weakness there. And even with a Terra type, this could come in useful too. So we've got on this one Dark Pulse for flinching. We've got it's a special set, by the way, as you can see, max speed, max special attack, modest nature. So we've got Trailblaze to boost its speed. We've got Energy Ball there for you know powerful grass type move, or the most powerful it has. It also has a 10% chance to drop the special defense. And we've also got Earth Power too for any steel type Pokemon. So 79 is okay-ish in special attack. It's not like super amazing though, but it's going to be hitting reasonably hard, which is a little bit of surprise there. You could give it a go on the special side, but uh, be warned, it's not going to be hitting very hard. So you're probably going to have to rely on like Dark Pulse for a few flinches and maybe a couple of special defense drops, some energy ball or earth power, you know, but uh, yeah, it could be a good uh, troll special to use on someone else. All right, we got another troll set here. This is the troll flinching set. So I actually use this in my uh, Paradox Pokemon team uh, video. So this is the, I think this is, yeah, this is the Paradox Pokemon video. I use this exact set in and you actually get to see it in action. So if you want to check that video out, make sure you do it. It's my Paradox team. Uh, the one where Brute Bonnet is uh, featured in there too. So I've got Trailblaze. I've got Bullet Seed, Crunch, and Zen Headbutt. Now this is woefully relies on luck with King Rock, right? So yeah. Um, we've got max attack and max speed. I've given it Jolly Nature this time. Now, I know last time I said that it's not very good to give it max speed with Jolly, but with this set, I really wanted to get absolutely everything out of speed, even if it did cost me a little bit of uh, attack stat, right? Because with flinching strategies, it's not always about your offense. It's more about your speed. So if you're going first there, you can get those flinches. You know, if you're not, well, you're never going to get your flinches, so the strategy is never going to work. That was my reasoning behind that. So I've got uh, Trailblaze here to boost my speed. We've got Bullet Seed there for multiple hits. Now, without something like Loaded Dice, it can hit two to five times, so... It's all up to luck, really. And we've got Crunch there. You could run Sucker Punch on this one, too. That would work. Um, I'm sort of going under the impression that after a few Trailblazers, I would be outspeeding the opponent. 
Now, I've got Zen Headbutt on here as well for any fighting type Pokemon. And, of course, that already is a flinch chance there, so you don't have to worry about it. That doesn't stack with Zen Headbutt, but it's going to you know, stack uh, with all these other attacks here, which is going to be pretty fun. But, yes, I did actually do this set, and I got it to work really, really well. It was, it was, it was, quite, uh, it was quite funny, actually. But that was on the past Paradox team, so you should definitely give that a check out if you haven't already. But uh, very, very interesting Pokemon. So let's have a look at a couple more sets here. I just want to fully go over everything as we like to do in these uh, moveset guides. Let's bring it up again. Now, this, as I mentioned, uh, counters. Wow, I'll give you a, I'll give you a couple of counters here. So get rid of that. So probably the, one of the best counters for this Pokemon would be Scissor. You know, like four times weak to bug. This can come in and use U-turn once, and Brute Bonnet is you know virtually done. You know, most of the sets are going to run Terra Grass or Dark, which is still super effective um, at the same time there. So Scissor is either going to you turn you, or it's going to be like, oh, my opponent's going to swap. I'll just set up Sword Dance on the swap there. And, you know, then it's going to continue to just spam Bullet Punch throughout your whole team and other coverage moves. So, this is a very, very good counter uh, to this Pokemon for sure there. Um, you know, you got Fairy type Pokemon as well. Um, yeah, but. Scissor is a number one counter if you want to get around our uh, Brute Bonnet there. It gets out. It, it might be able to outspeed it. Let's have a look here. Let's say, for example, so. Say we ran max speed 55. It's got it's even got more base speed than it if you were to run uh, speed on your scissor. It depends if you're running a bulky or, spe or, or, or speedy, but it does have more speed than uh, Brute Bonnet too. So it's sort of like that big four times weak to our uh, grass there. Uh, scissor really is going to eat you up there. So, yep, that would be a very, very, uh, a very, very good sort of counter if you're worried, oh, well, I want to get around, you know, I want to get around Scissor, you know, so let's have a look. So we got some fire types. See, any fire type Pokemon is going to be good for uh, for Scissor, you know? Like, I, I, I'm, I'm sort of, like, leaning towards... What do we got here? We got Iron Moth here. So Iron Moth wouldn't be too bad. That would be able to tank any fire type moves. That would be able to tank any fairy type moves. That would be able to take any poison type moves, you know? Um... Uh, sorry, fairy moves and you know any sort of like they they work well. You know that this cut they, they cover each other's weaknesses pretty well when you look at it, right? Um, you know you got that to swap back into the water type moves. Like it works great. Like those types work great together. So Iron Moth, that's a good uh, sort of uh, you know um, probably a Pokemon you could bring with Brute Bonnet. They work very good together. Anyway, let's have a look at a couple more uh, move sets here. But uh, that's sort of your main counter. A Pokemon, I suggest, there on your team would work well with it. Okay. So, it does get Body Press here. Let me have a look at this. So, we've got Body Press. Look, it's got 99 defense, which isn't bad. So, you could do something like this. I feel like you're sort of wasting its attack stat then. I don't know, you could run something like this. Alright, let, let me let me have a little look here if it's got anything to actually make use of that. So it doesn't have anything like Iron Defense or Bowl Cup, so yeah. I, I don't think I don't I don't think body press is gonna be like super amazing on it. You could definitely give it a go though if you're running like a tanky set. Like this is not a bad idea. Let's say for example you were running a tanky set. This would definitely be quite good here. So we've got Spore and Body Press. That works nicely together. Um, we've also got things like Stun Spore, but I'd probably just keep, uh, keep Spore on there. That our class of Stun Spore. Uh, you've got Healing here as well, which is going to be handy. And you'd probably want to give it like another coverage move. Matter of fact. Hmm. I'd give, you know what I'd give it? I'd either give it Payback or I'd give it Sucker Punch. And that's actually not too bad. That's actually not a bad set when you think about it. And you could give it like... Hmm, I, I, you give it booster energy, or you could give it uh, leftovers. That would work too. Uh, you could even give it Rocky Helmet if you wanted to at the same time too. So there's quite a couple of uh, you know move options you could give that there for a body press. It's more like a support set there, but it's, it's going to do some good damage to body press. And you've got a bit of presence about you too. So you're not going to be completely set up on by another Pokemon. Obviously outside of its, you know, obviously outside of its counters like a fairy type Pokemon. But most of the time with Brute Bonnet, you're not going to be keeping it against a fairy type unless you've got like, I don't know, you've, you've terrored yourself into a steel or you've, you're going to outspeed it and hit it with a really powerful like bullet seed or you know, seed bomb something along those lines i think that's pretty much it here for brute bonnet i think i've covered everything there we've we've gone from physical attackers we've done the sunset we've done a bulky set we've done some doubles we've done some troll sets i've given you a few uh i've given you counters for it i've given you some teammates 
I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's not too much you could do on the special side here. Look, you could go like really, uh, you could go uh, clear smog on there too. That's sort of like a throwback to Amoongus. So if you want like a bulky clear smog set, that could work. You could also go for a choice spec set. That could work too. And also in doubles, if you were looking at like doubles, you could also go for something um, like this too. You also got pollen puff, but bear in mind, you're sort of like not really making use of your nice attack stat there. But uh, yeah, that could work uh, on, on Brute Bonnet as well. I think that's about it, people. I uh, hope you enjoyed the Brute Bonnet guide. If you've got anything to add to uh, the Brute Bonnet or there's a set that works for you or something you want to add, please let me know in the comment section. And that's pretty much it for today. I've got some more moveset guides coming tomorrow. I think I've got about three of them. So lots of movesets coming your way tomorrow. All right, people. Peace out.